Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Karina from Paradium Thrifts. As you can see, I'm here at Goodwill because today is Sunday. And every Sunday here in Oregon, they switch the color tag that is on sale. So there should be a whole bunch of things that are 50% off that I can choose from. Granted, it is later in the day. It is about four o'clock um, and so it could be picked through already, um, but I'm excited to see. And usually at this location on Saturdays, they put a lot of things out. So there could also be a lot of like new items that I haven't seen before. So. Sundays are always a good day to go, even though it's busy. If you guys don't know the schedules of your local thrift stores or of your local Goodwills, you can always ask a employee. They aren't always willing to give you the, the information. So something that I've done in the past is to just frequently go like every week and sometimes even every day in a week and kind of see what the schedule is or kind of see like what changes happen on different days and kind of pick up from there. Anyway, let's go ahead and head inside and see what we can find today. First thing I do when I walk in is check what color tag is on sale. So today it is the purple color tags and that's what I'm going to be on the lookout while I am shopping. First section when you walk into the store is tops and I don't normally look at tops but I had time on my hands today so I wanted to look through absolutely everything in the store. Um, I ended up passing on that Madewell top just because the profit margin wasn't there for me. And then I went on to look through all of these fast fashion tops. My Goodwill is just overflowing with fast fashion whether it's forever 21 shein target um, amazon brands this brand i wasn't sure of i looked it up it was not promising but i kept finding it throughout the store and um i was disappointed i thought maybe i had found gold but i didn't it was just an interesting tag lulu's is one of my bread and butters but i ended up passing on that as well just because it wasn't anything fancy or anything special and again, just looking through all of the clothes. This Rails one, I I almost picked it up, but just the condition of it and the style of it wasn't anything exciting. I put it in my cart and I ended up putting it back. This Alice and Olivia dress, I've seen it before and I was surprised it was still there, but I passed on it again. This brand used to be a bolo and it just, it, it's not as good as it used to be, so I decided to pass on it. And we kept looking through the tops. This black was just not, it wasn't it. Next, I moved over to the long dresses slash jumpsuits. This is like my favorite section of the store and I can usually find a lot, but today it was slim pickings. There really wasn't a lot to look for. But in the short dresses, I found not one, but two DeSeagull dresses and I ended up leaving them just because I think the style was out This is another bolo that just isn't a bolo anymore. I don't think and it was priced too high um, This yellow dress will be the death of me. It is literally Target, but I am determined to find it in my size It also comes in black and white if you guys ever see it, please buy it for me in an extra small or small These are all jeans that once upon a time ago I would have picked up absolutely all of them but now I just pass, whether it's because of profit or style. It's crazy how much the fashion industry has changed and ultimately changed reselling, but these were all no's for me. I did get a hint though that we got a donation from the boutique location, just a town over because we had a lot of more designer pieces like these Tory Burch flats, passed on them due to wear and size. Um, but there were a lot of more higher end shoes. They also had the tags from the boutique um, on the bottom that were like scratched out. Like this one, for example, had different tags on it. This one was from Ross, but Vince Camuto, the style just wasn't there. So I passed on that as well. These were so much fun. These studded Sam Edelman's. They were in really good condition, but the price was just a little too high. If they're here when the yellow tag becomes half off, then I will definitely pick those up. For now, I just passed. So these are more examples of shoes that I'm pretty sure were donated from the boutique, the next town over, um, when things don't sell over there because they 
absolutely overpriced their shoes it's absolutely ridiculous um they send them over to our goodwill and they are still marked pretty high <laughs> so i didn't pick up any of these but i thought they were fun and if they're still here when they are half off i will reconsider going through the entire store i parked my cart in the back corner so no one would bother me so i could give you guys a little thrift haul this first item was by the brand killstar i picked up a pair of pants from this a little while ago and they still haven't sold but i decided to actually pass on those because of the price and i'm just not familiar with that brand enough this was no brand i'm pretty sure it was amazon but i think it'll do really well in my store so i picked that up from my shop Here's another fun brand. This is Flax, and I have been selling this pretty well in my store. It is somewhat of a bolo. I think it just depends on the piece, but they do still sell pretty well on eBay and Poshmark if you ever see it. This is a kimono, and I just couldn't figure out where the top was, but here's the tag. It is by Natural Life. You'll see this brand pop up a few times in this haul, but I have been finding it quite a bit at this Goodwill, and it's been selling not too bad. So here's another piece from it. I'm excited to get all these listed. I've only sold dresses from this brand, and they've either sold really quick or just sold for a good amount. Um, I'm excited to see how those ones do. Blink 182 because duh, I'm trying to build up my men's section in my shop, so I picked that up, but it's unisex. Anybody could wear it. This was super cute. It was by Columbia, a brand I don't typically pick up, but for my shop, of course. Finally, something for Poshmark. This is by the brand AYR, um, and it's a designer brand. It's, it's not bad. I'm going to see how this top does. I don't know if it's really in style right now but the comps looked okay if you guys don't know this brand vici vici um it sells pretty well on poshmark it is somewhat fast fashion and because like an online kind of on the same level as like princess polly or something like that but it does pretty well that was a linen top so i had to pick it up i was super shocked to find this it was house of harlow which is a revolve brand meaning they sell it on the revolve website um but i feel like somebody probably bought that from marshall's or something because i've been seeing that brand a lot at marshall's this dress did not have a brand tag in it but when i looked at the inner tag i found out it was it was by the brand j crew which means it could either be j crew or madewell that put that in my maybe pile because i wasn't sure but i ended up passing on it just because it didn't have the tag this next piece is just a random brand i have no idea what this brand is but it was a really cute jumpsuit it was a size extra large so i think it'll do really good in my store so i put that in my store pile a lot of this stuff was for my store honestly um but this next piece is we the free by free people it was such an old style and just plain so i put it in the maybe i didn't end up picking it up Next are these Sorels. They're like mules. Um, I feel like these will do really well in my store or on Poshmark. I have them listed on there also, but Sorel is a really popular brand out here, so I figured I'd give them a try. I don't you know, normally pick up that brand, Splendid, but those sandals were really cute, so we're going to put them in my store. This is a gorgeous color from Lulu's. I love these kinds of dresses from Lulu's. I'll pick these up all the time as long as they're not overpriced. So I picked that one up. I will post that in my store and online as well. Same with this maxi dress. Um, this is by the brand you saw earlier, Vichy. I'm thinking someone might have donated their haul, but anyway, this dress is so pretty, perfect for spring, even though it's like snowing here still. I think somebody will enjoy that piece. This next dress is by the brand Storia, which is like a boutique brand, but it has a pretty good following and their stuff is really cute. So can't say no to some cowboy boots. They were like by MIA or Soda, one of those really not crazy brands, but they're cute and they'll do well in my store. I was iffy on this because I'm pretty sure this is an Amazon brand, but we're going to try it out in my shop and see how that does. It's that boho vibe. Not my vibe, but it's somebody's vibe. 
Here's another Lulu's dress. It was new with tags. I was really surprised that they didn't mark this up because they usually do, especially when it's new with tags. But I posted that on Poshmark and I think it'll do well. <laughs> this, I picked it up because I thought it was funny. It is fake. The pockets were sticking to each other. Somebody put like a tag in there from an authentic wallet. And I just thought it was funny because they made it seem like it was real, but it was not. They even priced it at like $6, so I'm pretty sure they knew it was not real. Um, but I 100% passed on that fakey fake. This is another piece I picked up for my store. It is by Lucky Brand, and it was a size medium maxi dress. I think it's a maxi dress, or maybe it's a jumpsuit. Uh, but I think that will do well. I'm picking up all the spring stuff from my shop. This was so cute. I, th I thought it was really pretty, but I'm pretty sure this is a brand that they sell at like Fred Meyer, so I didn't end up picking it up. This was Lululemon. You see the logo there. It was half off. Um, so I don't know. The style was old. I wasn't sure about it. I think I picked it up because it was only like $3. As I was walking to the cash register, I found a couple more pieces. This Natural Life kimono to add to my Natural Life collection. And these Levi shorts for me. If they fit, we shall see. I'm finally done. I think I took like an hour and a half to do all of that. But I'm happy because I got some fun new stuff. I put it all in my Ikea bag. And now I should be ready for the week to kind of get some listings done to add new product into my store. You guys might be wondering why I still buy clothes for my thrift store. And there are a few reasons. Either I'm low on sizes or um, people just aren't bringing in things that I love. And I want to make sure that there are pieces in the store that really show off the style that I want to portray in my shop so that when people are looking around, they kind of get an idea of what the vibe is so that when they bring in their clothes, they know what to bring in. I have a few consignment clients who are like amazing, bring in great stuff all the time, but then I have some people who either they're like of an older demographic or they just aren't that stylish and they just don't have the best clothes um, They bring their stuff in and I feel really bad just turning them down, but it's just I have to be very picky I've almost been in my store for like a year now and I've finally grown the balls to just be like I'm so sorry, but these things Aren't gonna do very well in my store because if I don't do that I end up sitting on inventory that just doesn't move and also when I buy stuff myself and put it in the store I get to keep all the profit. I don't have to pay anyone out. So it's kind of a win-win. I buy stuff for the store and I put it under a separate account. And then I also consign things that I've like personally owned and I do that separate. I know it's weird, but when I consign things from my personal closet, I sign up as like a consigner and I only receive um, the... I guess it would be 70%. No, I received the 30% that a consigner would receive because I just believe in giving money into my store. And like same thing when I like an item and I want to buy it, I just buy it. And I buy it no discounts or anything so that I can put money into my store and I can support myself. I know that that's weird and people usually wouldn't do that, but that's how I do it. When I was shopping inside, I overheard this group of ladies talking and they were just talking about how they get over their clothes so easy and it just feels like they don't have anything to wear that they just don't need a whole bunch of stuff and i was like looking at them i love their style i love the things that they were picking up and i was so tempted to just be like hi i own a consignment store in downtown but i felt weird first of all I didn't want the Goodwill employees to hear me say anything because then I feel like it might get weird if I come in here and I already shop here a lot. They don't, I don't know if they know that I'm a reseller. They just know that I buy a lot every time that I come in. Um, so yeah, I didn't want anyone to hear me. And then second, I didn't, I just, I was, I was shy. I didn't know how to say it. I have business cards like in here and I should have just gave it to them, but I was, I didn't know how to do it. So I am going to practice doing that because I feel like I run into a lot of people locally that would be great consignment clients or who might love my shop and they just don't know about it. So I'm going to 
try next time maybe not inside of goodwill but maybe when i'm like at the grocery store or like somewhere maybe they maybe i'll be able to do it the only thing is like in a thrift store i already know that these people love to shop secondhand and it's like the right that's like literally my target customer but maybe not the right time or place anyway thank you guys so much for watching and coming with me on this little thrift trip i hope you guys have a wonderful week i apologize that there was no video last week your girl was going through it and i just didn't have it in me to film and so i'm making it up with this <laughs> love you guys and i will see you later bye <laughs>